Hey guys, this is Smile Brief Death, and welcome back to another DC Universe Online video where today we are proud to announce Justice League Dark is coming March 28th. That's right, guys. I don't really know too much about Justice League Dark because I don't read comic books. I used to as a kid, but I grew out of that into a point. I mean, um, yeah, some, you know what I mean. So, yeah, March 28th is a apparently it's a big major content release. So, here we are. And I'm actually looking forward to it. There's a lot of characters like John Constantine in it that I like. I'm actually quite sad that they cancelled the John Constantine TV show. It's pretty good. And they slung him on, what's it called, uh, Legends of Tomorrow. That's actually pretty good as well. I must say though, the Arrow and Supergirl shows, oh, I've stopped watching. I just I can't take the self pity anymore. It's ridiculous. Anyway, onwards and backwards onto the Justice League Dark. In Justice League Dark, a giant rift has opened in the sky above Gotham City. A massive tentacle daemon is tearing through from another plane as the helpless citizens of Gotham confront the insignificant of their pitiful human existence. Ancient magic is at work, revealing truths perhaps beyond human understanding. Truths that threaten madness in the face of infinite unknown. I know a guy called that. Uh, but Earth is not without defenses against such dread, fright and terror. Experts in the Alkalite recognize the magical origins of this new chaos and must now work together and with the players to discover the secrets that might turn back the invasion, at least for a time. How do you like my impression? That's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, so on the SJ take is the in the realm of magic, there is a chaos and there is order. And somewhere in between lies John Constantine and where the sky splits open and murderous break through. There's only one group you can call the Justice League Dark. No shit. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, so Leo's take is Constantine has been in a fan favorite here in the studio for some time. And with the way everyone responded to him in the Art of Facts mission, we knew his time would come and that time is now. We're starting 2019 off in the realm of nightmares and mysteries. We need the Justice League Dark, lay Bowser, DC Universe Online Executive Producer. Okay, so things to know about Justice League. And obviously it's no fucking obvious. I'm reading this off this site. Right, and it's the best place to get it. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to read it for yourself. But I'm here to read it for you. And, you know, I know you guys love my voice. Okay, so things to know about Justice League Dark 1. Justice League Dark will be a large scale episode with level agonistic event versions of content available to all players for a limited time. 2. The episode will feature new and returning heroes and villains, including Satana, John Constantine, Maud Rue, Dr. Fate, Felix Frost, and Shazam! Speaking of Shazam, that movie looks pretty good so far. That trailer looks good, but they all do. Okay, three. The storyline will include a variety of single player and multiplayer adventures set in several magical and overworldly locals, including the House of Mystery. I wonder what's in there. The episode will launch new player rewards, including new gear, styles, artifacts, base items, and themes. Episode 34, Justice League Dark, will launch March 28th to 19 on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo 64. I'm only joking about that last part, of course. Okay, so I don't really know too much about the Justice League Dark. I know John Constantine, obviously, from the show. Don't read the comics, so. Am I excited for this? Uh, yeah, I'm excited for anything that these show put out because, well, it's new. <laughs> What's not to like? So, okay, guys, if you've got this far in the video, I want you to put in the comments below, hashtag, I got this far. So, I know that you've watched the full video and you've blessed me with around about five minutes of your time, which I am entirely grateful for. And not to forget, guys, I'd just like to do a big shout out to my collab partner, Subscribe. Yep, that's their name. They're nearly at 600,000 subscribers. So I will put a link in the description and annotation. Check them out. They do Fortnite, Anthem, and uh, many other games. And plus, they feature some of my content on there as well. So let's show some love. Be sure to smash the like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't worry guys, I will be bringing another Destro video soon. I just haven't had the time to do Destro at the moment. And being that 
there's this new news you know it gives me a video I can do I don't just want to sponge videos out spam them and just sponge views I'm not all about that it's all about the right time give me a little break upload another video but I've got some ideas in mind for my next DCO video and actually what would you like to see me do in DCO me I personally I don't mind I'm a all-round type of guy the only thing is if I go on raids I normally die because <laughs> Anyway guys, this is Smile for Death. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what your thoughts about the DLC to come. Oh, don't say that, Smile. It's not a DLC. It's a major content. Oh, so what's the difference? Take care.